Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's look is going to be based on working with browns and orange and kind of like a smoky brown look. Like if you guys are supposed to see this in person, like it looks really smoky and like really like autumn vibes. If you guys want to see how I achieved this look, you can keep on watching. And if you don't, just don't even fucking bother. Just keep on scrolling. Maybe one day you would want to watch my video. And that would be really nice. So anyways, if you guys want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. And we're going to get started. So I'm going to be working with the Beauty Creations palette in the name Ruby. And open it up. Looks just like this. And the first color I'm going to go in is with this light orange. I am placing that right under the crease. So So I'm going to keep applying that orange because it does tend to fade away, which is really not a problem to me, but I feel like I love, like I need to like have that bright orange on that crease. So basically how I used to like be obsessed with my eyeshadow was, well normally how you're supposed to do your eyeshadow is basically you're supposed to see the three transition colors. When well, I first your transition then your crease and then your lid so before i would have orange and then i would have like a red then you would see a blend in with like a red orange and you can see the three different shades that used to be my favorite way to do it but now i just do whatever because there's no rules in the makeup game so basically you can do whatever you want however you want if you want to go above the brow bone or like on top of the brow bone to start your crease do whatever makes you happen, boo. Happy, boo. Do whatever makes you happy. Boo, boo. Okay, so the next shade I'm going to go in is going to be a deep, deep red. It's like a red orange, and I am, like, obsessed. So it's this shade right here. And I'm using the same color I did for the transition. I'm going to tap that just a little bit. And I'm placing that right close to my inner corner. a little harsh right there so I'm gonna grab this um, smudge brush I use this to blend as well because it's a good blending brush it blends everything together I really don't have to do too much blending with this brush but sometimes I do get carried away I'm gonna go on with this red brown I'm gonna tap tap Pack that on the lid. All over the lid. Going up the crease. Not fully all the way. So we're just going to pack that. We're going to go in with this nice mixture of these orange. Okay, so you see the difference on me wetting the shimmers because it looks more dramatic. And I'm not going to go too high up. 
but I still want that brown to be noticeable. So we're going to go a little higher. Not too high up the crease. So just like that. So I'm going a little higher. So I'm going to finish up the other eye and I'm going to put on some lashes. I won't be recording that. So I'll be right back. And I'm going to just let that sit in. With my beauty blender, I like to press in my moisturizer. Make sure it gets all in my skin. Make sure my skin observes it. All on this side. Just like that. That's probably a lot, I know. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just swipe down. For right now. Keep swiping down. I still go around the nose area. Just dab that in the face. Can't forget that. Okay, creamy beige. And I'm going to just swipe down like this. Just like that. And instantly, no breaks, no none of that, I like to press in my concealer. That's when I go under the eyes. Like that. And then I'm going to go in with my other, my clean beauty blender and gently press on that. I like to swipe under the eyes for it won't crease right away because sometimes my eyes tend to do that, which I really fucking hate. Then I like to bring the concealer however I want my eyeshadow to be. Then I just blend that. These lashes are so long, I'm scared to get concealer on them. So my eyes, I'm just like... And then with any small brush, this is a concealer brush by Crown. I like to just blend that out for it won't look too harsh. And then I use the back of the uh, beauty blender and now it makes my eyes really good. There's no name in this powder. Like literally there's nothing. It just says PO6 number one. I got this on Amazon a long time ago and I just brought it out. And it looks just like this. These two came like that. I was so disappointed. But this is the one I use to sit under my eyes. And, and I'm just going over it a little bit. Get on the smile lines. I noticed that uh, with the MAC Studios uh, Sculpt Foundation, I tried to not set my powder as much, my foundation as much. And while I was trying to contour, it moved all my foundation. And I hate that because I would have to take off my foundation and start over again. And nobody has time for shit like that right now. Especially if I have to be somewhere at 5. And it's 420. 420. That's good. I gotta bring this closer. I'm gonna head to the other other side. Now 
out. So I'm looking at my face right now and I feel like it needs some type of like bright brightening. So what I usually like to use when I'm gonna brighten it in my face, I like to use the wet and wild contour under the eyes. Right here. It gives me a bright like a brighter look. So for highlighter, I'm going to use the Anastasia So Hollywood since we do have a lot of reds and browns going on. I feel like gold, like a nice yellow goldish undertone highlighter will look really great for this look. So I'm going to go on the tip of the nose, down the bridge of the nose. So then I like to go in with that same water. Let me just damp that. So I like to swirl. Then go in. My dog is trying to come in. I'm so glad I locked that door. She would be snoring. other side oh second step is I like to wet the beauty blender and I like to press that in make it look super natural like if it's not even there what time is it I gotta get out of here I'm gonna use the LA girls in the shade secret And I'm going to put on a little bit of lip, lip gloss. Because I noticed that if I mix any gloss with this look, I mean with this uh, lipstick, it doesn't get matte. Like, it, I mean it gets matte, but it doesn't get like crumbly matte. And that's um, basically this. I always had an issue with this lipstick. And honestly, and it's just this one. This is the shade secret. I would wear it with no lipstick, with no chapstick, with no moisturizer, no no lip balm. Throughout the whole day, it will be so crumply, it'll be in my teeth and it'll be so disgusting. Is so pretty and that is my that is my final look I honestly this video so when I was starting to film this video I was like okay I'm gonna work with a smoky eye I'm gonna work with a black eye like a black smoky eye and make it look nice and brown super matte super pretty my boyfriend calls me says hey my family's throwing like a little party for my cousin a surprise party so get dressed and come over and i'm just like okay we're gonna switch this style up today so i went with like a super nice red kind of like a smoky brown but like a orange vibes with a bold lip and i ended up liking it so i was like you know what today we're going out we're going to a party fuck it it is what it is and that's how this look got created so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I feel like I should have been more, more, um, more like a different style because I feel like I always do these styles, but I'm just gonna like slowly start coming out of my com my comfort zone and just start doing these crazy looks. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoy recording it. Um, I will be listing everything down below. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and I will talk to you guys soon.